What up, friends and family? It's your boy Mike. And your girl Bree. Hey, and we back in this thing to talk about the Witcher Blood Origin. Uh, we just got through uh, watching. watching the show. Mm -hmm. So if you know us, you know all our reactions are raw and uncut. It's none of that. Oh, let's go think about this for three, four hours. Nah, we about to get straight into it yes, and give it to finished. you how we feel about it. Uh, so, if that ain't what you looking for, you can go ahead and hit the little X on the top or type in something new in the search bar. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into it. So, first off, what you give The Witcher Blood Origin? How you felt about it? What you give, I give it to? I loved it. I thought it was so good. Um... If I had to give it like a number, man, I don't know. I would give it like a pretty high, like almost like a nine. Y'all, so now she love it, right? She, at first it was like, mm, I, don't, I ain't really I into this. Yeah, I ain't into this. But then this. it got really good. Boy, but she kept on watching. See, I was from the jump. I was already into it, but she was like, eh, eh. Whatever. And then, some reason, she was in another room. I was in another room, and, and she continued watching. watching. It yeah, we was watching it separately. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, she come back and was like, "You've been watching." Yeah. <laughs> and she was like, "It's so good. Like it didn't got so good." And I was just like, mm -hmm. <laughs> "Oh, okay." Yeah, I really enjoyed it because I think it gave such good background for me as to the actual witcher show and like mm -hmm. how i mean i know obviously it's called blood origin so you're getting kind of the origin story of the witcher but it made so much more sense i definitely still have some questions about the witcher like okay this is supposed to be set like a long time before the now witcher that we know right and up here so excuse me but yeah I, I definitely still have some questions but i think the show was set up really really good to really tell a really good story what do you think yeah i think so i would definitely have to rank it how yeah i'll give it i'll give it about an eight i'll give it an eight eight out of ten because so I it was so short, like them four yeah. episodes. It was so short. So, but I, they put so much. I feel they put a lot in those four episodes. Like you don't even realize that it's really four episodes until you're like, damn, this is the true. last episode. I mean, some of it was kind of predictable though. Like yeah. if you watch shows like them, you kind of have an idea. Yeah, have an idea of what's gonna happen. Cause I felt like uh, I knew. The guy from the dog clan and the lark mm -hmm. were somehow was gone, gonna like, love. yeah, gone fall in love yeah. and all of this. I mean, it was definitely had some, like, I don't want to say stereotypical moments, but it had some typical moments, like you said, if you watch shows like that. Now, I definitely think that if they wanted to make and put more detail into it, they could have made it longer than four episodes. Definitely. Right. But I did like but. that they did go ahead. Cause it, it seems like it's gonna be possibly more to it, like, cause it it almost seems like it gotta build up to when the Witcher, that actual Witcher right, show right, that we've right. been watching on Netflix, right. get it, it's gonna build up to that point. So I like how they touched on kind of like the origin of the whole how they get the black eyes, where the black right, eyes the came from, general, and all right. of that. And because it's not even called the a little Witcher elixir yet. thing. Yeah, they don't even mention yeah. the word witcher in there yeah. at all so then it kind of the whole aspect of how humans and elves and monsters and all that came into right. this one world because just watching the regular witcher was the thing with it was just like season. oh they just in some Falling. place far out in yeah. the galaxy and this is just yeah. how civilization is here but they actually gave vibes. yeah they actually gave the story it definitely gave multiverse vibes <laughs> when that whole thing opened the mage. up yeah not the mage the i can't think of what it's called right now the black mountain that some people call it yeah so when yeah when the whole sky opened up so mm -hmm. that was that was uh something different i was i wasn't expecting that to happen at all like the blast be so powerful that it opened up the different worlds. Yeah, together. between time. And I space. was just expecting old buddy to get killed and 
that right, was basically that'd be it. over yeah yeah but i think it kind of makes sense to explain like why the witcher became the you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. why there had to be a witcher because now there are these things that have to be hunted because and you know, obviously, and they gotta you have be somebody people. strong enough to be able to right. take them out. And there's different people from different worlds because we don't even really. All we know now is that humans and elves are with each other. We don't know about all of the other worlds either yet. No, that no, got no. merged with that world right there right. to make one. And now world, we basically. now it gotta be another part because now we need to know who the baby is that the lark is having. I can't think of her name. But yeah, well, they call her the Lark the whole she show. She having basically. a, well, I mean, she had a name. Uh, yeah, but oh, um, I can't pronounce it. It starts with an E, though. Yeah. So she you knows she at the end she's having a baby. Mm-hmm. So now we just need to know. They gotta inform us of who the baby. Right. Gonna I hope be. they. I mean, I hope they do at least like one more season. Hopefully, it could be a limited four episode season. I would be okay with that. Uh, just a little hour bit more long episodes or hour plus yeah. episodes. Now don't, don't give us no four episodes and thirty <laughs> minutes worth of stuff and try to cram it all in. Just no, no, worth. no. I think they would do about the length of the episodes that they had. Now, hopefully, they do do that. That would be good to kind of help a little more of the backstory of everything. But I mean, with the way that they kind of ended it, it's like you don't really know if they're gonna have another season because they had that guy go back to current times basically right to say but he they has can to kinda... sing the song for oh, everybody yeah. to know you know what i'm saying that the elven people are gonna have to well stand he gone up. yeah but he gonna need i feel like he will still need more songs like is he just gonna say that one over and over and over i mean i guess he could i but... mean isn't that what he does though it's like sing yeah, he sings. So I'm he saying, sings but he might well. need other stories to tell too. Yeah, that's true. So, but yeah, and then they had the little flash with the mage that figured out that you can travel between space and time um, from way back when, showing the little girl. I can't think of her name though. Right now, that was in The Witcher that was pretending to be a right. Boy. And I want to know, and we had talked about that. Know the significance of. Bay, I think his name, no, not Baylor. Baylor was the black guy. Mm-hmm. Um, the other soldier guy that got that Baylor trapped in that other universe. Oh, yeah. What that whole score that, he put yeah. on represent. But like I, don't I was remember saying, that from the Witcher, but. like I was saying, I think it shows that other people have either came there or are living there, right? And that was just one of those creatures that died skull laying right there you put it on so but i don't know what the significance of it is so if you're watching us and you made it that far and you know drop it down in the comments for us let us know fill us in on this stuff because i know it was a video game and it might have been a book or something not 100 percent sure so i know some people actually read the books and then watch the movie but we actually watch the movies and don't touch the book <laughs> right um, well on certain stuff yeah because i know you probably didn't read you didn't read books that then yeah, turned yeah, into yeah, movies yeah. so definitely definitely but i've read the book before they even thought about right. putting out a movie so there wasn't a movie yet right but um but yeah i mean i hope that they're able to give good detail and maybe we'll get some of those details Maybe that's supposed to kind of touch on what's going to be in the new Witcher. I don't know. Maybe they did this as like a bridge kind of season. And now we're going to have a better understanding. Maybe the guy with the skull thing on his head is going to eventually get to. Like who knows. But I I like it. I thought it was good. I mean I love shows like that in general. So I thought it was a good show. And obviously if y'all didn't make it this far. You have hopefully i already didn't seen it because yeah, we didn't cause already spoil it bunch. so yeah. i hope you ain't going on youtube <laughs> searching this stuff and looking at it ahead of time but maybe you do and you don't mind getting the spoilers and then looking at it come back hey but do what you do cause come this. back and talk to us because oh, yeah, we love to have a conversation definitely but i will say with the review that we did gave we definitely did not give everything away so Mm -hmm. there's definitely still some stuff in there that's important for people to see and important for you to know so i mean it's a good show go check it out and like you said definitely let us know in the comments what you thought about it if you have any extra information we love 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 to 
read the comments and see what people have to say. Right. So, it's been your boy Mike. And your girl Bree. Hey, and we out.